Republicans had a really rough night electorally, which makes, you know, like the fifth straight rough night electorally that Republicans have had since 2016, because they lost the election in 2018. They lost the election in 2020. They lost the election in 2021, 2022, and now 2023. So things are not going swimmingly in the winning, so much winning, not so much winning. What exactly happened? Well, number one, there were some very Trumpy candidates who ran. And then they ran on being very Trumpy candidates. Now, you can be approved by Donald Trump and still be a really good candidate, or you can run on Trump's support, and it's not going to go amazing for you unless you're in a super duper Trumpy place. Also, Republicans have still not figured out on a state by state level how to tackle the issue of abortion. In Virginia, they did try to take a 15 week abortion ban position. The problem is the Democrats were able to then suggest that they wanted to ban abortion across the board. Meanwhile, in Ohio, Republicans didn't really have a message at all. And so they lost in a referendum in Kentucky. Andy Bashir ran on the campaign that Kentucky Republicans were going to ban abortion across the board, including for rape and incest victims. So yeah, Republicans are going to have to come up with a better way of messaging the issue.